In southern Utah, Springdale officials realizing they were hit harder than they thought by those flash floods earlier this week. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero spoke to the mayor and a business owner who is claiming a total loss. Stuart Ferber says he has to knock down his recently remodeled lodge of 47 years after the flash floods took him and his staff by surprise. Ferber says he hasn't seen a storm this bad in Springdale since 1982. As we were leaving, we heard the, the doors crash open and the water just came rushing in. Ferber says he spent a million dollars and worked with FEMA and the state to build this drainage system, which usually brings water back into the river. But he says this time around, it started clogging by the curb and gutter near the town hall. There was no curb and gutter. It possibly could have went back into the ditch around that boulder, but it jumped on the road and, and that was... It is what it is. The mayor of Springdale, Stan Smith, says there's not much that could have been done to prevent the severe flooding that took place. Unless there was an unobstructed wash all the way down, which we can't do because we have SR9 that we have to, to cross, and uh, it's just feasibly impossible. Smith says 10 employee cars floated at the town hall and most are totaled. The town is now working with the state to possibly find better ways to manage flash floods. It's not just a, an easy thing, especially when you have a state route uh, road and you have 4.5 million people, when are you going to shut that off? Because that's there's only one way in there from Springdale. But Ferber says he's moving forward and plans to rebuild with a new lodging concept. We're out of business. The, the Zion Campfire Lodge is out of business. I've reassigned our housekeepers to my other hotels. I will never fire anybody. We're obviously now we're overstaffed, but no one is going to lose their job. Reporting in Springdale, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.